Welcome to a statistics video on box and whisker plots. Here's a box and whisker plot and it involves five basic uh, statistical measures uh, all done, all displayed on the one plot here. We have the lower extreme indicated by that little notch at the end there. We have the upper extreme, the highest number that's uh, in the data up the top there. We have a median we have Q1, which is kind of like the median of the lower half of the scores. It's like the quarter way point across the median if they were, across the data if they were placed in order. And we have Q3 also indicated, which is the median, if you like, of the top half of the data, or like the three quarter point if the data was placed in order. And that makes up what we call a five number summary or in some textbooks it's called a five figure summary and that tells us a lot about the spread of the data particularly. Uh, the, the distance between or the other uh, section uh, it, that's in the first quarter of the scores here uh, contains 25 percent of the scores so if we have the lower extreme and the Q1 figure that would contain 25%, roughly 25% of the scores in there, almost exactly actually. Then uh, the next section is 25% and 25% and 25%. So what the box and whisker plot does, uh, it almost uh, exactly divides up the data into uh, quartiles. So let's have a look at an example and we can have a look at how we compile a box and whisker plot. A class sat for a mass test and here are the scores. I think there are 12 altogether here. We have uh, we can spot the lower extreme and the upper extreme nice and carefully. So we've already extracted two of the numbers we need for our box and whisker plot uh, straight away by looking at the highest and lowest score. I've placed these scores in order for you. Um, we have the median. Now in 12, with 12 scores, the median is in the middle there with six scores below it and six scores above it. So that's our median. And once we split the scores into six scores to the left of the median and six scores to the right of the median, it won't make us work too hard to find the lower quartile. It will be halfway between the third score and the fourth score here. So can you see that that's going to be 27 there? If we added 26 and 28 and divided by 2, we'd get a Q1 of 27 there. And uh, halfway between the six scores that are to the uh, that are higher than the median here, we have a, a Q3 or a three-quarter way point that is halfway between 36, 34 and 36. So uh, if we took the average or thought of what's halfway between there, we'd have 35. So we have five numbers here. Now thinking of the median, I, I skipped over that, but halfway between 30 and 32 would be the score 31. So that would be our median. Our um, Q1 was 27, wasn't it? and our lower extreme there was 25, our upper extreme there was 37. So this is showing, showing you that we can extract the five key statistical numbers out of our data pretty easily if we put them in order and think about it carefully. And so we can compile a five-figure summary of those five digits. 25 is our lower extreme, 27 was our, our lower quartile, our Q1 score, halfway between 26 and 28 there. Our median was halfway between 30 and 32, or 31 in this case. Our upper quartile you can see was 35, halfway between 34 and 36, and our upper extreme was 37. Now those five numbers, it's called a five number summary or a five figure summary, they're the ones that are going to go straight on our graph here. It doesn't really matter what numbers you've got on your, uh, on your number line here as long as uh, it takes into account our, at least our lower score and our highest score. So uh, I've, I've gone overboard a little bit there. But um, we would plot each of those five numbers and put it in that, uh, in that um, distinctive box and whisker shape here. We have 25 here, which was our lower extreme. 27 is our next number, which makes the start of our box. Then uh, 31 is our median. You can see that that lines up. 35 there and 37 there. So we can do a lot with that once uh, we have it in that arrangement. Um, so we can look at the median easily. We can see whether the scores are symmetrical. We can s compare these, uh, these test scores with other test scores on the same grid if we drew another box and whisker plot. But that's the basics of a box and whisker plot. Um, and I hope that helps. So 
you put all the scores in order, you find the median, you find the upper and lower extremes, and they work out the, the Q1 and the Q3, and it creates our box and whisker plot there. Good way of displaying data, and particularly shows the spread of the scores very easily. And from that you can actually uh, do things like find the interquartile range, you might find that on another video there, which is the distance between the Q3 and the Q1, it's actually the width of the box there. So that in indicates uh, one way of quick way of finding the interquartile range, but that's for another day. So that's box and whisker plots. I hope that helps you. Uh, that's um, peterblakemaths.com and box and whisker plots. See you next time for some more maths videos.